The government of Ghana, President Nana Akufo-Addo, believes that building more science, technology, engineering, and mathematics senior high schools will significantly transform Ghana's education system. And this man is so brilliant. He's the best president that Africa has ever recorded. I know a lot of Ghanaians will come under this post to tell me, the, to, you know, to shade me and probably drop some negative comment because they feel that I am not saying the truth. But judging from where I come from and judging from the things that are happening in most Africans, see, let me tell you something. There is nothing. Having a good standard school is underrated. Having a good standard school, quote me anywhere, is underrated. For him to have had in mind I love how intentional this particular president is, you guys. President Nana Addo is so intentional when it comes to equipping, when it comes to introducing, introducing a well-functional government schools in Ghana. These STEM schools are what's, what's talking about. See, let me tell you guys. So as a Nigerian, I'm reacting to this because I know what, and I know exactly what I'm saying. I am actually an advocate of good schools. Let's quickly talk about this newly constructed Bosom Tree Girls Senior high school you know you guys and this school has actually begun of course administration for quite a, a, a long time right now i want to also share with you guys how Ghanaians reacted how even nigerians reacted when they heard about this newly beautiful well equipped highly equipped computerized standard like one of the most beautiful schools stem schools in ghana is this bosom, bosom tree i went to their website i could even you could register from different countries you know the school is giving what it's meant to give and more and all thanks to ghana all thanks to ghana for allowing people africans enjoy the benefit of these stem schools in ghana and let me quote you guys if you're foreign and watching this video you can register just have your ghana card and you enjoy the benefit of this free education in ghana I mean standard education. I'm not talking about anyhow schools that most African countries have. I also noticed that this particular school is just all girls school. The education ministry is hopeful that paying serious attention to STEM will help bridge development gap between Ghana and other first world countries. Ghana, did, I, did you read me right? Did you read my lips? I said between Ghana and other first world countries competing with America and uh, they're not competing with Africa. <laughs> particular STEM school, Bosom Tree, you know, it has received a significant boost as one of the STEM schools under construction in the Ashanti region. The Bosom Tree Girls STEM High School has begun admitting students. I've said that and I'm saying that again. Now we have started to train leaders in engineering, <laughs> leaders in aviation, leaders in medical leaders, medical leaders and the rest. Engineering, engineers, pharmacists, name them, pilots, name them. This alone is the best for the nation. We promise that we are going to be one of the best in this nation. They are already one of the best nations. So this is a, a speech from the headmistress of this school. These girls speak so fluently. These girls are smart. They are well dressed. I love the colors of their uniform. They are very outspoken. They are very composed. When a lady talks, you can hear it. You can hear how, like, you can feel it. These children are amazing. Like, Ghana is the best. Ghanaians are well trained. So what am I trying to say? While government has provided the needed logistics to the school, more resources would be invested there, as well as other STEM schools being worked on across the country. So this particular Bosom Tree Girls High School is nice to meet students. They've come from all over the countries. They've, they've seen those from Greater Accra, Ashanti, Bono, and all over the country, even in Nigeria. A lot of people are from Nigeria schooling in this particular Bosom Tree School. This is going to be a national institution of excellence. The good news is that the science labs are done and functioning, well equipped, keep improving, you know, in getting new, new equipment to make the schools one of the best. They say some parents whose words are among the pioneers attending the school are excited about the development. They started, I started acquiring about the school when I heard of it from the minister, that is, that it will be a STEM school for girls. It is necessary to equip the girls of today so that they can grow up to be doctors, engineers, and the rest. I followed up on the progress of this school till I heard it has been started operating. So this is the speech from a parent. Although my daughter had got admission into a top school, I insisted, I insisted sorry, on admitting her to this school so that my daughter can benefit from the minister's vision. So I'm calling on parents to bring their child girl child 
who are yet to gain admission to any schools to this particular school. So this is a comment from a parent. So she also went further to say that my daughter has been admitted here initially. I was skeptical about the whole idea of bringing her all the way, you know, from another country to this. However, I observe when I we got here. However, I observed that the school has some of the best infrastructure. So I encourage parents to bring their daughters, their children from different schools to this particular school because it is literally one of the best in Ghana. So what am I saying? When you provide a good functional STEM schools in your country, this brings forth people. You know, it makes your country to be the star, the highlight. We're not talking about the fact that Ghana is already global. We're talking about the fact that you know, the government of Ghana is being intentional about working on schools. And this is one of the best things that has happened to Ghana so far. I'm going to be putting, you know, a few pictures here and there for you guys to see how beautiful. Like you guys, I was literally shocked to have found out that this is a, is, is a, is a, is a government school. My own point is, it even the private school I will understand. So as it stands now, government schools are literally better than private schools in, in Ghana. I also heard that even the Catholic schools are being owned by the government. Unlike here in Nigeria, the Catholic schools in Nigeria are owned by the church. So government has actually acquired all those schools and they are doing it better. You know, well, this is when you have a good functional government that you can trust. Not other African countries that you cannot even trust. If some of the African countries adopt the government, uh, Catholic schools in there, they are going to squeeze those schools and the schools will turn into trash. But this man has withheld these schools you know, and made it better. These schools are boarding school, like I said before, well equipped. You have good dormitories, you have good food, you have good academic excellence, you have well skilled teachers. What more are you ask, are you guys asking for? See, you Ghanaians should calm down. You're enjoying the sweet benefits and you are complaining. Although we need, you know, we expect the best, although we're always there for improvement, but so far so good, you guys are doing well. Kudos to you and to be very honest, I can't say I can't say more. So let me know in the comment section, have you been to Bosom Tree? I love this school. This is my best school so far. <laughs> if you know the school you attended is good, drop it in the comment section. Let me also react on it. Let me go deep and tell you guys what I think about it as a Nigerian. So far, so good. Bosom Tree is number one. It's on the map. And for me, it's the best so far. But I'm still going to look into other schools to find out the one that suits me the more. Thank you so much for watching on Cuts with Uju. Do well by hitting the subscribe button to be part of this family. And I will see you all in my next one. Take care, be kind, and be blessed. Keep dropping the Ghana flag in the comment section. Bye, guys.